Right, I'm going to show you how to get started with this, which is the Esprino JavaScript microcontroller. Um, just take it, plug it straight into USB. It's a standard micro USB connector, like all the phones yeah. use now. Um, if you're on Windows XP, you'll need drivers, but on everything else, you won't. Um, so if you do need the drivers, go to the Esprino website. Um, then you need Google Chrome, um, which it's easy enough to install that, so I won't cover that here. Um, it's just another web browser. Click on Apps. Um, if you don't get an Apps thing, uh, click New Tab and you'll definitely get Apps up there. So do that, go to Store. Then in the Store, um, search for Esprino. Come up. Click on the plus 3 which will install it, add it to your system um, and it will slowly install. Hopefully it will come up soon. Right, so now uh, the easiest thing to do really is to click on new tab, click on apps again and click on the Esprino IDE. Now you should see the communications port up here, which is where the Esprino device is connected to. Um, if you haven't plugged your device in, just do it and um, click on the little refresh button there, which will try and find the device again. But if you click connect, it will connect to the device and it will notice that the firmware is out of date, um, which will almost certainly be the case if you get the board from Kickstarter. Um, we'd really recommend that you do update the firmware. So um, if you go to the options in the top right and then you click on firmware updates here then you follow the instructions which is basically disconnect and then reconnect and you'll find that the um, address here is filled in. This screen is unfortunately a bit small um, so it goes off the edge of the screen but you just need to click back up here to get the top again um, and instructions again, disconnect and now um, you need to press that far away button and then hold down the reset button for about a second and let go and that will make the LED start pulsing there um, which puts it into bootloader mode and now if you connect um, you can just click on write firmware um, and you'll see the LEDs flashing in a sort of rainbow pattern um, and if you look back up at the progress, it will say writing flash. Now, um, don't do anything during this time. Um, you can't actually break the Esprino by doing this. You can stop it from working momentarily, but you can always put it into the bootloader mode, which will allow you to update the flash again and reinstall Esprino on it. So this just takes a little bit of time to go past. Um, but when it has, you'll be left with the most up-to-date version of Esprini. Just give it a few more seconds. Okay, now it says done. Um, the LED is still pulsing on the right, that's all fine. Click disconnect. Hit the reset button, but only the reset button, and let go of it again. And now you can connect again. And this time, um, it doesn't say there's a new firmware update available. Um, and we can do things like just maybe copying this little piece of code here onto the Esprino, which will flash the LED. Um, obviously, you can change it really quickly. And you can copy it again. Or you can send commands directly. For instance, a green LED here. Um, we can just turn that on if we want to as well. Um, now the other thing we can do is um, we can do the graphical code editor which is just that button there um, and then we can copy this over and you won't see anything happen until you press a button um, then one second later it will turn the light off again if I do it, turn the light on, one second later it will turn it off um, and again that's all easy enough to change for instance I can change that to LED3 which is blue and then I can upload that to the board as well. 
it's any difference until you press the button and then the blue LED will light and unlight. And that's it, that's how easy it is to get started. Thanks for